Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I've got the new release from Clearly Bizzotti to share with you. All of the sets will be available to purchase today. That's the 1st of October 2021 at 8pm at British Summer Time. You can purchase them from the Clearly Bizzotti shop, Simon's Stamp, Card Nouveau, Art Creatu and Cloud9 Crafts. There's also a bundle available which is all of the sets that I'm going to share with you plus free gifts and that is exclusive to Clearly Bizzotti only. So as I usually do, I'm going to share the new sets with you and also the samples that I have made as, des as a design team member, excuse me. So first of all, this is the Merry Meerkat set. It's such an adorable set. I love these cute little meerkats. They're all wearing kind of like Santa hats and then you've got some cactus as well, which is really fun, kind of dressed up for Christmas and the holidays. You've got one with the presents here with the lights, kind of like a Christmas tree one with the Santa hat on, one with some extra lights and then just a separate one with kind of like a holiday pot which is really nice as well. You can kind of mix and match all of the different meerkats, one coming up from the ground there, one holding the star, one with the stocking, really really cute, holding the sign there saying Santa stop here, just a really adorable one with that little hat on as well. Like I said just a really cute kind of all-round set, something a little bit different for Christmas and the holidays. So this is the card that I made using that set. I just decided to do a completely one layer card, which is quite unlike me. Usually at least the sentiment is popped up, but I thought I'd do something a little bit different. And what I did first was I masked off the cactus and this meerkat here made some masks for them or stamped them first, excuse me, made some masks for them from masking paper popped them over the top, then stamped out this meerkat, masked that off, then stamped out the background or the ground really I should say and that's from last month's meerkat mischief set. So the my design pretty much is similar to last month's but I'm just doing it in kind of like a Christmas theme with the cactus as an extra little thing. Um, I hope that's okay. And then I masked that off as well and then I did some ink blending in the background. I'd planned to do kind of like a sunset or a kind of like a sunrise but I didn't really want the yellow here and then the red on the outside I thought it'd be difficult to kind of blend out so I did it in reverse I'm not sure it really worked out that great I think maybe they look like they're on fire but it's still something a little bit different some kind of like different color palette and things like that for Christmas Next up is the Gobble Gobble set and I didn't get a chance to use this set but it is very fun. Clearly Besotted every year kind of have like a bar humbug type of set with kind of like grumpy characters which is really cute. So this, e this year is all about turkeys and just I mean they're just so funny their expressions on their faces and then you've got like all of the different food there and then the vegetables as well. Some funny sentiments you've got things like it's um, it's not just my sense of humour that's incredibly dry. Tis the seasoning. I'm so bland. Fa la la la. Flavourless. I'm so dry. Sorry for being tasteless. Get stuffed, which is really funny. Gobble gobble. Um, go vegan. So you could kind of do it as like you're going to eat the turkey, or you could do it as they're angry because you're planning on eating them, or you know whatever the case may be. So it's just a kind of funny set. Next up is the Flaming Festivities, another slightly different set for the holidays this year, which I really love that clearly Bizzotti tend to do different kind of characters, not necessarily what you would expect for the holidays, which is really nice. And this is dragons, which I absolutely love. So you've got lots of different dragons in their different poses. This one here that's flying could be used all year round. The one with the scarf definitely could just be used for winter. So not necessarily for Christmas, for the seasons, um, people that don't celebrate Christmas but obviously celebrate the season or just general winter cards which is really nice. The one holding the bauble, the one with the present, the one with the Santa hat on, the one with the antlers just cracks me up, so so funny and um, really cute and the one with the snowball there and he is built like a little snow dragon which is absolutely adorable and you've got the tree there as well. Some great sentiments, you light up my life, have a magical Christmas, have a flaming great Christmas, hope your Christmas is lit and I'm not going to butcher the Welsh language but this is Merry Christmas in Welsh. 
And so this is the card that I made using that set. I thought I'd create a little kind of um, heart card, heart shaped card. I think you could probably just maybe do this as a tag instead of a card, but I do actually have it as an actual card. And um, what I did here was I cut out an extra heart and then it may be difficult to see here on camera, but I scored a line at the top with my scoring tool and then just did the top part to the front of the base. And then I just cut a little notch out. So it does actually stand up, which is really nice probably won't now I'm on camera um, but if you fold it in the right way there you go it does actually stand up even though you've got like the point there which is quite cute so what I did for this card I obviously cut out the heart with um, some dies and then I masked off the bottom so that I could ink blend on the top and for that I used the freshly cut stencil I just used this kind of portion here and I masked that off like I said, did some ink blending in the sky. For the snow, I used the Snow Day stencil, which is really nice, and I just added it with some white ink. So it was kind of quite subtle, but I thought it looked quite pretty with the colours. Stamped out the sentiment and heat embossed that. And then I just moved that stencil down and kind of added in some kind of like drifts and kind of like snow banks type thing. The dragon obviously is from that set, and I coloured him purple. I'm sure you probably don't get purple dragons, but nonetheless, I thought it was quite cute with his little Santa hat on added a little bit of glitter to the um, that Santa hat there and the trees are from the older winter plushies set next up is the snow scenes set such a lovely set um, definitely great for kind of just general winter cards doesn't have to be holidays or the Christmas you know season which is really nice so you've got the um, kind of London skyline here with all the snow on top of the buildings and then this one here which I think could probably be anywhere in the world but um, you've got like well when I say anywhere in the world probably the UK really because there's a London cabs and um, or taxis and then a uh, London bus there as well or I'm assuming they look the same everywhere else in the UK as well and then you've got the little trees and kind of like the railings there and the um, kind of like Christmas tree in the telephone box which is really cute you could kind of lay them up together or you could use them separately some really lovely kind of just sort of traditional I suppose sentiments like have a very merry Christmas and a happy new year let it snow let it snow let it snow and um, tis the most wonderful season of the year Oh, excuse me, time of the year. I can't even speak. I'm making up uh, sentiments as I go. Um, walking in a winter wonderland. Some, like I said, just a really beautiful set. And so this is the card that I made using that set. Kept it very simple, stamped out the skyline there, masked that off and did some ink blending in the background with distress inks and then I coloured in the buildings in rainbow colours. I obviously know that the um, London kind of buildings aren't rainbow colours. It's a shame really because I think they would look really pretty but then I just completely covered it in snow with a white gel pen and then just stamped out the sentiment there at the bottom. I added a little bit of snow kind of like as ground. Technically this would be the River Thames but um, I just decided to do it as um, kind of like ground instead. Next up is Yuletide Yeti, another really fun set. So you've got all of these different Yetis here and then you've got two tiny little um, penguins which are absolutely adorable. And then there's this kind of backdrop here with the birch trees some extra little things like um, stars and like a little bow tie which is really cute some fun sentiments that you can kind of mix and match as well things like sending hugs you're unbelievably cool is it Christmas Yeti um, let it snow you could do hey Yeti um, loads of different things really kind of fun set like I say and this is the card that I made using that set. I thought I'd create a mini slimline card. So I stamped out the Yeti and his little penguin pal there, um, coloured those with Copic markers, fussy cut everything out. Um, I did forget to mention on the other cards, I did fussy cut everything out. Clearly Bzotties are not uh, manufacturing dies at the moment. Um, that I know of, they don't um, have any plans to bring them back, unfortunately. Um, but a lot of the images are quite easy to fussy cut, or if you have an electronic die cutting kind of machine that does that for you, obviously that's really good as well I do fussy cut everything but um, so I used the birch trees there in the background did some ink blending in the background there's loads of sparkle on that background but it's probably quite difficult to see on camera the sentiment there is from the tiny talk set I thought it worked quite nicely with the images and just kind of added a snowbank there at the bottom 
Next up are three sets that all work together. This is the Merry Mix and Match Woof set. So what is really fun about these sets is that you've got a Christmas tree that you can build. So this is the bottom layer here. You've got the middle layer and then the top layer. So they all stack on top of each other and they actually line up really easily. You can kind of just line up the bottom of the next kind of portion um, to the kind of top of that one, but you can just add you don't have to kind of do the middle, you could just add the top on to make it a smaller tree. But there also are other sets with different critters that you can actually mix and match all of the different critters as well. But otherwise, this one here, you've got all of the puppies in the tree, which is really cute. There are separate puppies as well that are kind of all year round, just one with a ball, one with a bone there. Um, you've got a little stool that they can be sitting on and then this scene is just absolutely adorable where he's looking out um, onto like the outside with the tree and the snow and everything like that it's just so so cute some fun kind of sentiments happy howly days yappy christmas santa paws uh, walkies in a winter wonderland merry christmas um, you've got like your pawsome santa paws is coming to town i didn't use this set but um, i basically ran out of time Time, but it is absolutely adorable and so along the same lines this is the merry mix and match squeak set so you've got mice in this set and they are just so so cute again you've got the three layers of the tree which you can use all together you could do do two of them or you can mix and match with the puppies and have like mice puppies and mice or whatever you you know want there are again there's some kind of separate little mice here which is really cute one holding the cheese one with a cookie and one with a star again you've got this beautiful window scene with the little mouse sort of sleeping on the window just absolutely adorable again some fun sentiments naughty is the new nice um, have a have a merry christmas mouse uh, naughty or mice have a mice christmas one more sleep say cheese such an adorable set and i did create a card uh, with this set and i thought i would just go ahead and do the whole kind of tree with all of the mice but like i said you can mix and match them and what i did was i stamped out the three different layers and then in between you kind of get like a smaller layer now as of me making this video i have no idea whether that is supposed to just be tree or whether it's supposed to be kind of like tinsel or something like that i just just decided excuse me to color it as tinsel i think it's probably okay either way i may have made a really big mistake and it is just supposed to be tree which is what i originally thought i was going to do and then at the last minute i decided to make it tinsel like i said i think it probably looks okay either way hopefully anyway i just did a very simple ink blended background again uh, that's got quite a lot of shimmer spray on it. it's probably difficult to see here and then i just heat embossed the sentiment there and cut that out but i just thought it was such a cute image with all the kind of little bits of cheese and things like that in the tree and then last but not least is the merry mix and match meow set <laughs> so another one that you can mix and match so you could have puppies at the bottom cats in the middle and then uh, mice at the top or however you wanted it to be i do apologize for the lighting here i'm going to try and edit this and um, so it's not too bad but it's one of those days where the sun keeps coming out so i do apologize for that but such an adorable set again you've got separate little kitties and then you've got the scene there as well and he's kind of looking out it's just so so cute again the little stool that they could be standing on to decorate the tree or they could be kind of looking at the window and things like that or just kind of general you've got extra little fish and things like that in this set as well fun sentiments have a meowy christmas I have been perfect, uh, put me on the nice list, have a perfect Christmas, I believe in Santa Paws, just absolutely adorable like I say. And I thought I'd create a little tag with the kind of standalone little kitties there. So this one here is giving a fish to the other one for Christmas as a Christmas present, I thought that was cute. And then I used that tree there again from the Winter Plushie set, did some distress inking in the background and then stamped out the sentiment and heat embossed that at the top. And these are the clearly besotted tag along die set, just added an extra sort of layer there at the bottom for the 
snowbank. So that was a look at the new release from Clearly Besotted for October 2021. Links to the products that I shared will be in the description bar on YouTube and also over on my blog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.